Greetings and welcome to another tutorial for the Agile Store Locator plugin. In this video, I will be showing you how to get the Google Maps API key and how you can add it to Agile Store Locator. So let's get started. Go down here to the Agile Store Locator plugin and then click on ASL settings. And over here, we have two fields, the Google API key and the Google Server API key. To get these keys, you will need to go to the Google Clouds console. And once you're here, create a new project. I've already created a project called Test Project 101. And I'll be using this project to generate the API keys. So once you've created the project, click on Create Credentials. And then click on API key. And the API key will be generated. And then you can copy it from this button over here. But before we can add it to Agile uh, Store Locator, we will first need to complete a few steps. Firstly, we will need to enable four API libraries without which this API key will not function properly and your store locator widget will also not work properly. So let's go to the library tab and enable the four API libraries. I've already enabled this API, so that's why it's showing here API enabled. But in your case over here, there will be a enable button. Simply click on that button to enable the API. Let's enable the rest of the APIs. Once again, you will see an enable button over here. Click on it to enable the geocoding API. Now let's go to places API. I've also enabled this one as well. And lastly, we will enable the directions. API. So once you click on this library here, you will see an enable button. Click on it to enable the directions mm -hmm. API. Once all the API libraries have been enabled, we can head back to the credentials page. And the first step of our process is complete. But before we can add this to the Agile Store Locator plugin, we need to restrict this key as well so that only our website will be able to use this API key. So click on the Actions button over here and click on Edit API Key. And over here, let's select Websites. Now we need the URL of our website and click on the Add button over here and paste the URL of our website. Click on Done. Now we'll add one more item. It's the same URL, but in this case, we'll put a forward slash and an asterisk sign. Click on Done, click on Save. So now the API key has been restricted and now we can add it to the Agile Store Locator plugin. Copy the API key, head over to Agile Store Locator and paste the key over here. Click on Save Settings. Now let's see if the API key is working. Refresh the website. And as you can see, the Store Locator widget is now working fine. Now we need to get the Google Server API key. Let's head back to the Google Cloud Console and generate another API key by clicking on Create Credentials. We do need to restrict this API key so that it only works on our website. So let's do that. Let's click on Edit API Key. And this time we'll restrict the API key using the IP address of our website. To get the IP address of your website, simply copy the URL of the website and then you will need to ping it to get the IP address. And here we have the IP address of our website. Copy it and go back to the Google Cloud Console and paste this IP address. Click on Add. Paste it and click on Done. And finally click on Save. And the second API key is all, has also been restricted now. Let's copy it and add it to the Agile Store Locator plugin. Let's paste it over here. Scroll down, click on Save Settings. So now that the Google Server API key has been saved, let's now test it and see if it's valid. Go to the import slash export stores menu over here. And you can see the Google server API key has been added here, which we added to the ASL setting page. Click on validate key. And this gives a message that this is indeed a valid API key. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.